Hi, my name is Sarah Payne and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about sewing machines. Okay, so first of all, why do you need a sewing machine? I think everybody needs a sewing machine. Every house should have a sewing machine. It should be as common to use as a washing machine because it is a tool. It is a white good and usually they are white which is quite handy um, but it is a it is a, a tool but it's also creative so you can use it for um, taking up trousers for alterations perhaps taking up the kids school uniform um, you can use it for fixing things so if buttons come off or you need to replace a zip um, you can do it for taking things in taking things out but also it is a creative tool as well and we all know how much fun it is to make things um, otherwise we wouldn't be here in the first place would we but with a sewing machine you're able to make clothes make home decor items quilt all of those fun things that we love to play with um, and it just happens so much quicker when you've got a sewing machine so one of the most common questions I get asked is which sewing machine should I go for and um, there's a number of things that you want to consider when you're looking for a new sewing machine the first one is budget what is your budget like I would always try and invest the most that you can in a sewing machine because a sewing machine should last you years and years and years if you buy something that has two or three stitches on it and you know is is say you know you can get them for 50 pounds that's not built to last you're going to find it might be tricky to thread um, it might be tricky to use and if you have to struggle to get it to work every time then the fun goes out of you know your creativity but what you also want to be able to do is have a machine that's going to grow with you so I always say to people buy the machine for the sewer that you want to be not the one you are at the moment because if you're a complete beginner and you buy a sewing machine you might be thinking I just want to take up some trousers I just want to be able to um, sew some buttons on that may very well be the case right now but after a little while you'll sort of hmm, I think I'm bored with sewing um, buttons on. I'm bored with taking up trousers. I think what I might try and do is make a pair of trousers. Okay, so then you start to make a pair of trousers and you think, well, actually I've got some fabric left over from making those trousers. Perhaps I'll make a handbag. And then you think, well, actually that handbag could really do with a zip or it could do with a button. Um, or it might be, mm, I think I'm going to make a quilt now with all of these bits and pieces. So what you want is a machine that is going to be able to do all of those things. Now, when you are looking at a new machine, there are a number of things you cannot change. So you can't change the power of the motor. So get one that comes with a good warranty, um, longer than a year if possible, and also get one with a, a, um, a machine, uh, sorry, a, a, a motor that can cope with lots of different fabrics because you might be working with thin fabrics, thicker fabrics, different types of, uh, uh, different numbers of layers. So if you're quilting, you're working with much thicker layers. Um, so get something with a good motor because you can't upgrade the motor. Secondly, I would look at getting yourself a, 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 a an electronic or a digital machine that we're looking at now we call them computerized but that doesn't mean you need a computer it basically means it's got a little brain in it and it sets up itself it sets up stitches um, the machine exactly as you need to do that stitch okay so that means it takes those first few steps out you don't need to know the machine knows what it's doing the other thing that you need to look at that you can't change is the number of stitches. So uh, many machines come with a lot of stitches, you know, hundreds and hundreds of stitches, which is all well and good. But most of the time, I would say 90% of the time, I'm using 10% of the stitches. It's lovely to have all those decorative stitches in there and I do use them, but when it comes to um, sewing with a sewing machine, you're going to be looking at straight stitches, stretch stitches. If you want to do any kind of dressmaking, make sure that your, your um, machine has stretch stitches on it so that it can cope with um, angles in fabric. So for example, around the gusset on a pair of trousers, if you're not using a stretch stitch, it'll be great down here, but as it comes around through the gusset, that fabric will stretch and your stitch won't and your seam will come undone 
and tell ask me how I know that because I do have a pair of trousers that, that happened to me when I was out and about because I didn't use a stretch stitch um, you've also got finishing stitches in here so overcasting stitches those are also very important if you think that you're going to use uh, your machine to do dressmaking so those are two very important things that you need to think about. After that, we start looking at feet and we're looking at needles. So feet and needles are interchangeable. If you want to work with denim, you get a denim needle. If you want to work with leather, you get a leather needle. Um, so those are elements to do with your sewing machine that you can change very easily. The other thing is feet or our feet, I should say. The other thing that you need to think about are the feet that you get with your machine or the feet that you can then purchase separately because there are literally hundreds and hundreds of different types of feet to do different jobs. Um, and you want a machine that you're going to be able to easily change those feet quickly so that you can get on with those other jobs that you want to do, those other projects. So um, what we're looking at today is I have a brother machine here. Now um, this brother is the, it's the FS180 QC and it comes with a good selection of feet. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to talk you through the feet that you get with a machine like this and also show you how you would be able to change them. Also, um, a machine like this, the Brother machine, will also take feet from other brands as well. So have a look at what you've already got in your sewing stash because you might have some feet that would work with your, with your Brother machine. So the feet are stored in your storage caddy at the front here. And as you can see, they have got um, little apertures for them to go in with this particular machine, which means it keeps them nice and neat. If you haven't got one of these, you know, perhaps the first project you uh, embark on is a little drawstring bag that you actually uh, put all of these into and then pop them inside. Now, I'm going to very quickly talk about the feet that we've got with this machine. First of all, most machines will come with a standard foot on it, which will be the straight stitch foot. Okay, in this case, it's the J foot and it's on there. Then we have a buttonhole foot. So this will allow you to put buttonholes into your clothing. Most machines do come with an automatic buttonhole like this. So it will actually tell the machine um, what size buttonhole it needs to create. We have a button placement foot, which allows you to sew your uh, button on pl in place very quickly. We also have a monogramming foot here. This is a slightly wider foot that comes with most machines that underneath has got sort of a channel cut out. This means that um, you're going to be able to easily uh, work with decorative stitches and satin stitches and it will run quite smoothly. Then we've got a zipper foot. Zips um, often fill people with dread but they're not as difficult as people think. They are qu quite um, quite versatile and once you learn how to do a fun zip then uh, you'll be putting it on everyone and everything then we've got the overcasting foot here so this is the one that I was talking about with those overcasting stitches so it allows you to finish off the um, elements inside your clothing so that it doesn't fray and then we've got a blind hem foot now all of these feet here have a bar fitting on it Ooh they're alive they have a bar fitting on it so if you have another foot that's got a bar fitting this is how you would change it so we have here the um, this is the ankle and if I press the little black button on the back you'll see that the foot drops away and then I'm going to put the other foot straight underneath it will clip in and there you go you're ready to work now with a completely different foot so this is one type of foot that you've actually got with your machine the second type of foot that comes with a lot of sewing machines are ones with a screw fitting so you see here there's a screw hole this is a free motion foot this, this will allow you to do your free motion quilting this one is a walking foot so this is useful for quilting or working with lots of layers but again it's got a screw fitting there so to add one of those to your machine you'll go to the side of the ankle here and there will be a screw all right so I'm going to undo that screw and that whole section comes away now make sure you put that away somewhere so that you don't lose it and then with the walking foot this one you've actually got a, a little handle here that needs to 
grab on to the screw that holds your needle in place. Okay, so we're going to pop that on there like that. I'll just undo the screw a little bit more. And then come in with your screwdriver. Most sewing machines come with a screwdriver of some description. This is a coin screwdriver because it's a little round one. It's worth investing in a slightly longer handled screwdriver as well when you're working with sewing machines. But now you see that foot is in place and as the needle goes up and down, that will lift up and down. So that's how you can put um, different feet onto your sewing machine so that you can use your sewing machine for lots of different projects and lots of different tasks. So the screw fitting and the bar fitting and after that you're ready to go.